Hello, and welcome to my new Dead Man Progress video. In today's video, I'm going to be, you know, just training a little bit. But the thing that is kind of disturbing about the new trend in Dead Man is it's turning into more of a sort of grindscape experience, where the key is to just train your skills as fast as possible. And this makes it a little bit hard for people who actually um, you know, have a job like myself, because I can't be playing this game as much as, like, say, someone in high school who, you know, can play this every single minute that they're not in school. So, I mean, y you know, just taking the high scores, like, for instance, uh, this guy right here, he's been training for, like, probably ten hours right here. I mean, I'm... I'm hoping he's not a bot, but, like, you know, the point is, like, I mean, he has, you know, 5,300,000 experience, and most of that is in range, and, y y you know, I mean, I mean, I have fairly decent stats, I mean, I got 3 million experience total, but that's because I've been playing since day one of Dead Man, so, I mean, I haven't been able to put as much time into this as other people, which is kind of one of the reasons I'm a li getting a little worried about if I'm going to even have any chance at all in the future of Dead Man. The one good thing is I have completed uh, Priest in Peril, so I can access Mortania, and I also have completed Lost City, so once I get my attack level up, which I'm training right now to level 60, I'll be able to get a Dragon Dagger uh, Poison++. plus plus. Uh, so that'll be kind of nice. But, I mean, again, you know, just take this guy right here, for instance. You know, with 85 range and a dark bow with dragon arrows with poisoned uh, plus plus on them, you know, he can just, like, basically two hit me, you know, with the spec from the dark bow. And, you know, it won't matter if I have level 50 or 60 defense because that thing just goes through basically anything. Um, which is part of the reason that I'm training up my attack level, even though if I die, I'm going to lose most of it, because I have a fairly high range. It's not anywhere near what it should be, but that's, you know, because I have a job. And, y you know, if I pair a Dragon Dagger, Poison++, plus plus with, you know, say, Rune Arrows, Poison++, plus plus and a Magic Shortbow, you know, I think I'll have a slight chance... But, you know, honestly, Dead Man is turning a lot more into this grindscape experience. And, y you know, this just makes it really hard for people who have stuff to do other than RuneScape. And, I mean, believe me, I would love to play Dead Man, you know, for 10 hours a day, but I just, I can't. So, y you know, this game mode, I honestly feel is designed for people who really just will put in, like, tons and tons of hours a day. I mean, you look at the high scores, and there's uh, people on those high scores who just, they have put their life into this. I mean, if I pull up um, this... Um, if we go to the high scores here, Seasonal Dead Man... I mean, you look at people right here, and I mean, these people are putting in a ton of time into uh, their dead man careers. And I just, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm never going to be able to beat, let's just say, let's look at someone with some high experience levels here. So 65, Iron Higer. I mean, if I face someone who has level 92 range, 99 strength, and 92 magic, I will stand zero chance against them. And, you know, it won't matter what I've got. Because, you know, they're probably almost able to afford a Bandos God Sword or Armadale God Sword. And the instant it goes into the game, they'll get it. Um, anyways, though, I mean, this is... It's just a mild gripe that I have against Dead Man and the way it encourages people to just put, like, 24-7 worth of training into the game. Also, I really feel this 
this game mode encourages botting, and I've seen a lot of people who I, I'm practically certain are botting just because they will walk around and they, I mean, I've seen people who are in this area have running off, so they're walking, and then they walk all the way up here, and then around here, and then around here, and down here to fight someone right here, and I'm just like, a player would just go from here to here. So, I, I just, like, Jagex, like, this is kind of like an open plea to you, like, c c can you, like, crack down on people who are using bots in dead men mode, even if you're not going to take care of the mules, which you said you were going to take care of, but, like, at least do something about the bots in dead men mode. Um, or otherwise, th this game mode is just going to die. I mean, die in popularity. I mean, I know it's like a three-month thing, but still, I mean, people are going away because I think a lot of people like myself are realizing that, yeah, it's okay to train in safe areas, but, you know, if you want to do actual PKing, you got to put in time like these people right here put in. And, I mean, let's just go to someone who's like a streamer here, foe. Um, so if you go to foe, like, you know, I mean, this guy obviously has a job, so as you can see, his stats are lower. I mean, I could probably have put in the effort it took foe to get his account, but, I mean, for one of these top people here, like, let's just go to Dead Wilson, I mean, this guy puts in time, and... I, I don't know, I, I just, I, I feel like, number one, it's going to make it so that new pe new people cannot play dead man mode, just because they'll be way too far behind. Um, and then, like, you know, people like myself, I, I mean, soon there's going to be just PKers everywhere around Lost City. And I've already heard that Priest in Peril is pretty much impossible to complete now, so I'm glad I completed that when I had the chance. Because the problem with Priest in Peril is you don't have any food or uh, weapons or anything in your inventory because you're just carrying huge loads of pure essence uh, over to that little temple area. But anyways, uh, this is my progress video for the day. My goals are to get level 60 attack, at which point I can wield a Dragon Dagger Poison Plus Plus. After that, I want to take my range level up to about level 80 or 81. I'm not planning on going to 85 uh, too soon. I want to get to about, I think level 81 would be a good place to get to. Um, and then, you know, after that, I want to do a few more quests. Mainly quests that are going to be important later on. Like, I've, I think Olaf's quest... Let me just check the requirements for this. Um, oh, Fremenix Trials. Yeah, that's going to be one that I want to complete. I also want to do Hero's Quest. Where's Hero's Quest? I don't know what I need for that. Oh yeah, I need Dragon Slayer and Merlin's Crystal. These requirements will be pretty easy to get. Um, but I've done Shield of Arav and Lost City, so... Yeah, but Hero's Quest will be really nice, because then I can get that Dragon Mace, which is can be super good for its special attack. Um, the Dragon Battle Axe, you know, that'll be okay, but the Dragon Mace... The main thing I'd want that for is for its special attack, and also the Heroes Guild will be a fantastic opportunity to, you know, make money charging glories, and also as an escape place, because there's going to be a lot of people who won't be able to get into it, and if I can get into that place, that'll probably save me a lot. But anyways, uh, this is my progress video, please do like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you all back in my next video.